Tell us uh, what Jamie has done so far to challenge uh, the bigger players here, Ed. Good morning, Rish. Thanks for having me on. Yeah, I mean, since November, Xiaomi has taken part in investments valued at 600 million U.S. dollars in three companies, and they've also unveiled uh, or announced investments in dozens of startups and everything from uh, smart light bulbs to uh, smart air purifiers. Uh, the, some of their largest investments have included stakes in big online video companies like Yoku Tudo and iQIYI. Uh, they also announced their first investment in the U.S., a wearable device maker called Misfit. So they, they, they really have been assembling these pieces around their core products, uh, especially in the past month. Okay, well, tell me something. Many companies that have tried to build an ecosystem like Apple's, but, you know, it hasn't worked out for them very well. What gives Jeremy credibility in this particular area? Right. Well, one thing that's interesting about Xiaomi is their roots as a software company. They actually developed a modification of uh, Google's Android that Xiaomi calls the Mi User Interface or MiUI. That was their first product. And moving into the hardware of smartphones only came a year later. So their DNA is in software. They've developed a very popular chat application, uh, cloud services, uh, different kinds of apps and software for uh, doing all kinds of things online from booking movie tickets to medical appointments. So they really do have this software DNA, which is different, say, than in a lot of cases where hardware companies have tried to go into uh, you know, ma make an ecosystem. It's a little bit different. They don't have that, you know, that software background. Well, which, I mean, it's still a closely held company, isn't it, here? Uh, so, you know, we've got uh, the backers. Uh, are they on their own helping finance uh, this, uh, this thrust? Right. Uh, so, I mean, j just last month, Xiaomi closed its latest funding round. It was over a billion dollars. That gave the company a 45 billion U.S. dollar valuation. It included uh, investors like Yuri Milner's DST, Singapore company called GIC, and All Stars Investment. Uh, what a lot of investors said at the time was the push beyond smartphones into this ecosystem and assembling software and services and other products, that that was the real attraction to them, not just what they're doing in smartphones. And in fact, you know, Yuri Milner told us that he thought the $45 billion valuation was only a start, and, and, and he thought that it could still more than double to $100 billion. Okay, well, this is, is this effort just about dominating the uh, global smartphone market? Because, you know, they do have other fish that they fry. Yeah, it, you know, it really does look like their ambitions go well beyond smartphones to the next generation, what people are calling the Internet of Things. That means making products, especially for the home, that are smart devices, that are web-enabled, you know, to create this kind of vision of an automated home. You know, they've already begun with product. They already have a smart router. They have web-enabled TVs and set-top boxes. Uh, they announced this air purifier that can be controlled by your smartphone. So all signs point to them continuing to develop web-enabled products for the home, you know, that could be controlled by your smartphone.